Today we're going to be talking about my motorcycle camping kitchen gear. All of the equipment I use to make food, coffee, that kind of thing. So this is actually an update to an older video of mine uh, with the equipment I've been using for the last year now. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have, why I have it, and how it's been working for me. Stick around. Hi everyone, I'm Tim and this is my channel FTA Adventures. And like I said, today we're talking about my motorcycle camping kitchen setup. I'm just gonna kinda walk you through everything. This is probably gonna be a short video because I've really simplified and pared down my kitchen setup quite a bit since the last time I made a video talking about this department of my gear. So first off, the stove that I'm using is the Jetboil Flash. That is this one right here. One of the features I originally liked about it and still like about it very much is this right here. Uh, this is what makes it the Flash version. And essentially this turns orange as the water heats up. So if you light this stove, you're boiling some water, you walk away from it and you look over and you notice this is orange, your water is good to go. Uh, it really prevents me from wasting fuel with this stove because very often I'll turn it on, start heating up water and walk away and go do something else. And I'll forget. But by looking over and seeing this orange that's really eye-catching, uh, I'm able to remember I have water boiling. I need to go take care of that. Uh, this has been working well for me. Uh, it's a little limiting on what I can cook with it. Now, I do have the pot adapter, but I'm not carrying that currently. I think in the not-too-distant future, I'm going to be getting a little more creative with my camping food, uh, in which case I will be using the pot adapter so that I can use different kitchen equipment, basically. Uh, this thing boils water so, so fast, and that is really the most common thing I'm, I'm using to cook, is boiled water. Uh, for pasta, cheap things like that, that are just easy, you know, one or two ingredient recipes, or more importantly, making coffee in the morning. Uh, so this has been working really well for me. Inside the jet boil, I have my kitchen towel, which is essentially just stuffed in here to create a little bit of padding, but this is what I use to dry my dishes. And wrapped up in here, I have some hand sanitizer. Uh, this is, you know, really, really important when you're out roughing it and you're in the wilderness and doing dirty things and being a dirt bag. Uh, it's really nice to have some of this handy right before you're about to cook food or put food in your mouth. Uh, so I keep this with my kitchen stuff. And then of course, I have the actual stove that goes with the jet boil. And that just goes onto the bottom like that, which brings us to the next piece, fuel. Uh, this essentially just screws onto here. Um, these little canisters are pretty cheap, so this works pretty well for me. Um, they're not too expensive. And on the bottom of it, it's kind of nice that this fits really perfectly, uh, is my cup. Just a little collapsible cup. Can also use this as a bowl, but most often I'm using it as a cup when I make hot chocolate or tea at night. Uh, coffee, whatever. Um, so this comes in really handy and packs really small. One thing that has changed in my setup since the last time I made one of these videos is that it's not all packed together the way it used to be. Uh, the jet boil is kind of its own self-contained unit, but then everything else is a little bit spread out. And this is the spoon that I'm using, and the reason I like this one, uh, it's plastic, it's lightweight, but more importantly, it's extendable. So if I'm eating one of those mountain house camp meals, I can get to the bottom of the bag without getting my hand all dirty. Uh, it makes stirring in the jet boil a lot easier because that's pretty deep as well. Uh, so this is the only utensil I have with me for cooking and, and eating. Right here, of course, I have my Nano Presso. Um, anybody that's been watching this channel for a while knows I absolutely love this thing. Uh, this is what I use to make coffee in the morning. I make espresso, Americanos, things like that. Uh, I've been getting a little more creative with this lately and trying some different things, but this is how I make my coffee and espresso. And this little dry bag right here is where I keep all of my food. I like to keep it all contained in one spot. So if I'm in bear country and I have to do something with this, it's all in one place. I don't have to go digging around and finding all my bits and pieces of food. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. Now, right out of the gate, I'm gonna say I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you what's in here because been on kind of a tight budget for this particular trip. So I do have some ramen noodles. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy. Uh, it's been kind of a run and gun trip and uh, just trying not to spend too much money. So 
I haven't been eating it every night, but every once in a while, it saves a little bit of money. Uh, next up, I get a little bit of instant coffee, even though I have, even though I have the Nano Presso, sometimes I just want to drink a big cup of coffee. And, and right now I'm not carrying my Pipa Mocha, which is what I would use for that. But sometimes also it's just a little bit easier to use instant coffee. Uh, it doesn't taste great, but it'll get me going in the morning, at least to make it to the nearest coffee shop. I also have some hot chocolate, some tea, uh, different hot drink mixes for the evening. I have some granola. More granola. Granola bars. Tissues, AKA napkins. Down here I have some extra bags just for garbage or whatever. Um, I like to keep a few extras in here when I encounter them. So I always have trash bags in with my food, uh, which is most often how I'm creating trash. And another favorite hot drink of mine, apple cider. Uh, hot apple cider, this stuff's pretty good. It's got a lot of sugar in it, but it's good. <laughs> and that's it, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, oh, there is one more thing, my kitchen sink. I absolutely love this feature on the Moscow backcountry panniers with their two liter water pouch and this little nozzle on it that creates a stream of water, which I use as essentially a kitchen sink. I can do dishes behind here. I can brush my teeth, wash my face. It's really nice to have a stream of running water essentially to use for that type of stuff. So I do kind of consider that part of my kitchen setup because I'm very often cleaning my dishes with it. Uh, and that's about it. I don't carry any soap or, or anything to clean my dishes. Usually I'm not making them super dirty anyway. And what I'll do is I'll take a wet wipe, clean out the food and the, the heavy stuff, uh, rinse it out with water, wipe it out with a tissue. And then when I get somewhere where I have access to soap and a sink, I'll kind of wash it out a little more thoroughly than that. So that is my kitchen setup. That's pretty much it. I hope you got something out of this video. I will leave a link right here to some other camping tip videos and that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.